Welcome to Lovelytics demo, Tableau on the Databricks Lakehouse. We are a certified Databricks and Tableau Services partner headquartered in Arlington, Virginia, specializing in data visualization and modeling. In our use case, we have hospital management that wants their staff to be more data-driven so that they can gain insight into important metrics, which leads to improved patient care, reduced costs, and increased revenue. They also want to be able to fulfill their reporting needs without having to rely heavily on IT teams, which means that they need the flexibility to support ad hoc requests while implementing a trusted governance. We have three groups of users, the data engineers, data scientists, the business analysts, and the business users. Our data engineers and data scientists require a unified platform to work on creating machine learning models our business analysts want the ability to access data and combine it with different data sources for meaningful reporting, while our business users want to be able to make impactful decisions by analyzing the reports. This demo is running on Databricks on AWS with data stored in S3. On Databricks, our data engineers can perform data wrangling and create ad hoc tables based on what the data science team and the data analysts need. In this example of a raw table containing visitation data, a data engineer can quickly notice fields that need to be cleaned up for machine learning based on the sample data displayed. These transformations can be performed on notebooks that support SQL, Java, R, Scala, and Python. In this notebook here, we have documented transformations made and performed those steps in the code. After data cleaning, we created a table in Delta format saving it to the Delta Lake, which adds reliability, performance, governance, and quality to the data lake. This workflow can also be scheduled to run at a regular frequency, depending on your business needs. Data engineers and scientists in the same workspace can look at each other's work, enabling better collaboration, management, and accountability. Now that we have our data pre-processed, let's move on to the machine learning lifecycle. The main problem faced in managing machine learning life cycles is sustainability and reproducibility. In a large healthcare organization, this is even more crucial as projects can change teams frequently, which means monitoring of the ML life cycle and tracking model versions can get complicated quickly. Manage ML flow on Databricks provides a sustainable way for our data science team to monitor, audit, and reproduce models before moving them into production. Here, in a different notebook, we have loaded the data prepared by our data engineer and built our machine learning model to predict length of stay. Using MLflow, we lock the model, parameters, metrics, data tables, and relevant visualizations with a Python function. This process was then repeated with different model types and hyperparameters, with each run being locked in the experiments tab. Here, our data scientists can compare models and download the comparison table as a CSV. They can also look at the code that built this particular model by reproducing the run. This closed the version of the notebook when that model was locked. Log artifacts of the model can also be viewed here. The next step to our ML process is to register the model. After registering it, the model can be placed in staging or production mode. Depending on user permissions, our data scientists can transition it directly or request for their lead to approve the transition. After the deployment process, our business analysts can support the team by providing further insights into a patient's predicted length of stay. On Tableau, we can connect directly to the data table that contains length of stay prediction in the Delta Lake. For our reporting purposes, we are also bringing in patient satisfaction data and we can use SQL analytics to query patient exit survey responses to produce usable data sources for Tableau. Here, we can spin up a SQL endpoint, which requires less configuration than a typical cluster, while allowing for multi-cluster load balancing and scheduling of queries. We can also utilize Photon, an experimental execution engine that is an improved Spark engine designed to speed up SQL workloads. From here, we can connect Tableau to Databricks via SQL endpoints by taking the connection information from this endpoint configuration 
and plugging it into Tableau's native Databricks connector. With this connection made, our business analyst can now develop a dashboard suit to service the operations team that is looking for the predicted length of stay of a patient and the administrative team that wants to look at overall patient satisfaction. Tableau on the Databricks Lakehouse supercharges your data governance and reporting needs. If you would like to know more, please reach out through email.